Hey baddies, it's your girl Sean and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you could be a baddie too. As you guys can see, I have a special guest today. I'm Brianna. Yeah, if you guys saw my last video, she was in my, what was that? We went to Girl in the Park? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we did a food critic review and I guess today we're trying some more food. You got me, got, got me, got me twisted. You got me, you got me, got, got me, got me twisted. We went to Girl in the Park, we did. It was subpar. It was all right. It was all right. It was subpar, it was okay. But today we're going to be trying food out of this snack box that I ordered. I tried to obliterate my address. Obliterate? Cover. My address. But I ordered this snack crate from snackcrate.com. The first one was half off, so this one was $13.99. After that, they're like $25.99, okay? Um, I know what's in it. She don't know what's in it yet. I don't like surprises. I can't take suspense, so I opened it. I looked to see what was in it. And I was kind of upset because, so like the options for the first box, they give you an option of like pick one of three or four options. And then there's a mystery option. So I clicked the mystery option thinking that like they were gonna give me something completely random, a brand new country or whatever. And it was actually just a mystery of which one of those four options that they gave me. So, are you ready to see I'm what it excited. is? Okay, I'm gonna let you open it so you can see what it is, cause I already know. Oh, this is the ingredients. I pulled it out. Can't. Oh, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> we could have got Brown like blue. <laughs> the Bahamas. Did they have the Bahamas or something? It was like Japan, J Germany, yeah, Hawaii, and then I think Canada were the options. Well, the struggle is real because the camera fell and we had to readjust and put it back up. Oh. Bro, the complete struggle. Okay, so yeah, I've never been to Canada. And neither have I. What, do they have accents in Canada? Yeah. Chip, chip, cheerio. That is so terrible. And <laughs> is that's that even, England or UK. What, or, hey, mate. No. That's, I all, that's I think that's Australia. I've never been to Canada. I don't think I've ever met anyone from Canada. I couldn't do a Canadian accent if you asked me to because I don't even know. They speak French, don't they? Some of them do. They speak English. French. It depends on what part you go. So they don't say chip chip cheerio? No, I don't think so. Is that in England? Yeah, so. <laughs> Bro, my geography skills are like trash. Like literally, if you gave me a blank map and asked me to like label it, I could probably get the continents, but like you start asking me to label countries, I ain't got it. I don't know. Like, you know, Vancouver, Toronto. Oh, gee, I'm like, are those countries, but then you said Toronto, and <laughs> that's where Drake is from. I think. Is that the capital of Canada? Oh, wait, there's a, there's a sheet. There's a fact sheet. It should say. Okay. What's the capital? Ottawa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bruh. They Official. speak English and French. Mm -hmm. It's the second largest country in the world, right after, after Russia. Russia. Didn't know that. I couldn't tell you where Russia is on a map if it wasn't labeled. It's in, it's I know Asia. it's in Europe. It's in. I thought it was in Europe. Asia. <laughs> Asia. Bro, all this education and I, bro. I know part of their national anthem is "Oh Canada is a place I call home." Oh Canada. That's all I know. <laughs> um. Look, their official phone number is 1-800-O-CANADA. That's funny. That's kind of weird. <laughs> it's the most educated country. Over half of its residents have degrees. They Clearly have. Clearly not America. Not there America. are places in Canada that have less gravity than the rest of the world. I'm curious. I am too. Would you feel the difference? <laughs> Ooh. I hate oh, bugs, bro. <laughs> These bugs keep flying past This me. is cool, though. It is. I'm excited. Okay, and I have, so they give us this little fact sheet, or not a fact sheet, but just like general descriptions of the, the items. This one actually has the ingredients. Oh, okay. Now, they did put a warning on it saying that like, they translated it, so they're talking about the translations may be subject to discrepancy. How do you, like food ingredients, I feel like you should be able to translate but nonetheless i appreciate it because i'm allergic to fish and nuts so i need to know what's in it before i just start eating a bunch of stuff um and there were only two things that i highlighted that like i might 
be nervous about because they have coconut in them. Oh. And I can eat coconut, but like it gets to a point where I eat too much and then I start having a reaction. Don't do it. I ain't got a choice. <laughs> well, not that I ain't got a choice, but like I'm not that worried about it. Okay. As long as it's not like the main thing, like if coconut isn't the main thing I should be. Right. Okay. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get to it. <laughs> Um, so I bought us some wet wipes. Okay. <laughs> I bought some too. Bro, we, <laughs> we both came prepared. Here you go. Oh, thank you. No problem. Because we're not getting sick out of here. Bro. Out here. First of all, the real me needs to get up and like actually wash my hands with soap and water, but this will do. I think there's a bathroom. I don't know. I don't okay. trust it. <laughs> nice. They like, you, you guys know how park bathrooms are. Like they may or may not clean it. It may or may not have soap and then like for me to touch the door handle to get in and then they don't have soap i'm gonna be sick <laughs> i'm gonna be so sick <laughs> um okay so i didn't bring a garbage bag oh well um let's go ahead oh so i didn't open i opened it to see what was in it but i haven't actually unpackaged anything so it comes nicely packed up okay so part of me wants to get this chocolatey stuff out the way because i know you don't like chocolate nope she don't like chocolate y'all she ain't gonna try it <laughs> so i think and i actually want to try these first because i just know i'm not gonna like them <laughs> these are glossette is that what it say glossette yeah. okay these are chocolate covered raisins <laughs> Let me just get it over with. Cause it I might be good. Bruh, I don't know why they put these in the box. Granted, so like, I guess these are all the options. Okay. So like, we could have got a variety of any oh, of this. Okay. And they just put these in. I'm, bruh. It's probably good. Chocolate covered raisins is like. That's that's a old movie staple. Candy. No, bruh. young people eat it <laughs> no, too. No, bro, psychopath. That's why they sell it at the raisins movies. are nasty. Raisins are milk good. chocolate is nasty. Okay. And then y'all put them together. Right. This is not gummy bears. Anymore. Bruh. Let me just. See. <laughs> Can I see the box? Uh-uh. That's not it. Oh, it's from Hershey in Canada. I think you should actually try one. I know you don't like chocolate, but it kind of don't taste like chocolate. That's what all people say that like chocolate. No, I don't like milk chocolate. It tastes like something, but it don't taste like chocolate. Chocolate. It don't taste like chocolate to me. Uh, and you kind of don't taste the raisins. It's like mushy. Where or was the raisin there? or something? I was waiting for the raisin. I did not get it. Yeah, I didn't taste the raisin. These, I wouldn't eat this whole thing, but like I'm not as mad at it as I thought I was gonna be. Mm -mm. I didn't taste the raisin. And the chocolate, to me, didn't taste like chocolate. It tastes like a tissy roll or something but not chocolate. It's all chocolate to me. I'm screaming. <laughs> okay, well the next chocolate thing are these Smarties. So y'all know in the US we have Smarties and they're like that little powdered stuff that you, like them little powdered round candies that you eat out of the roll. These apparently are chocolate coated candies. So I'm pretty sure they're like M&Ms. These are by Nestle. Yep, they're by Nestle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh, this, I would give these a two out of five. Negative three. I'm screaming. <laughs> I would give them a two because they weren't as nasty as I thought they were going to be, but they still were, in fact, nasty. Okay, this is weird. Oh, make them last. So I just opened the side of the box, but it has these little things on the side. Oh, so you can eat cute. the rolls. That's cute. But we you don't have this in the U.S. Close. Yeah. So it says make them last, and then there's these little separators, so you could punch, you could essentially punch a hole and eat each row. It's not like mixed up in the box, it's in a row. Oh. Looks like m &Ms. Yeah, they're probably going to taste like m &Ms. And I opened the whole thing, but oh well. Um, oh yeah, these good. Oh. Bro, it's big bugs out here at this park. These bussin'. They taste like M&M's. Go ahead, girl. Exactly like M&M's. I'm talking with my mouth full. Sorry, y'all. Ooh. 
looks good. And I actually feel like they taste exactly like M&M's, but I almost feel like the outside is a little bit crunchier okay. than the M&M's. Mm -hmm. And so I like these a lot. Like, these will get a five out of five. And compared to M&M's, they will get like a six out of five. Cause I like that the outside is a little, to me it tastes a little bit, not it tastes, but it feels a little bit like crunchier on the okay. outside. So, so I like, like these. crunch. Mm-hmm, I'm a texture person. I feel that. Um, so now we can start kind of mixing these candy and these chips if you want. Cause it's a lot of. Or should we go, we should do the candies first. And okay. It's hot outside. You are right. Okay, let's get rid of this toffee. You want to try this? Sure. It's Macintosh's. Macintosh's? Mm -hmm. Creamy toffee. I don't know about it. I don't think I like toffee. Uh -oh. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, show the camera. <laughs> Y'all know. <laughs> this looks like. It doesn't look. It, it looks, looks like, like a caramel. fat bar of caramel. Bro, it's not even separate. Bro, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Yo, this is trifling. Why would they do this? Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to bite it and then I'll give you the other. Cause this is some nonsense. <laughs> Let me okay. just bite this corner. Yo. It doesn't even look biteable. <laughs> it's not. Oh, oh. And the way my teeth bro. It's like a sugar daddy, but like bigger. That's foolishness. <laughs> bro, it felt like your tooth cracked when you pulled it. That's what it? I'm saying. My teeth are sensitive. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Okay, so. Absolutely not. I like toffee. I would like that. This would have been good if it was like pre cut and or like and smoother. Not even pre-cut, like perforated. You know, like perforated no, I know what edges. You mean, like you, know, you get a candy bar and it's chopped up, and you just have to break the pieces off. Yeah, that is the thickest stuff I've ever had in my life. Uh uh, I don't like it. The taste of it is okay, but the, like y'all saw us trying to break a piece off. <laughs> don't think you finna bite into it. Like uh uh, that's a zero for me. To my Canadian people, how how do y'all eat this? And it's stuck in the back of my tooth, Lord. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be sitting there all day until I like, bro. I'm upset. That's disrespectful. What would you rate it? A zero. Uh uh. I would give it. Are we going zero to ten? It's technically one to five, oh, okay. but a zero because that's not practical. Yeah, I would give it a one. The taste was decent, but as far as trying How to get to it, how am I supposed to eat that? <laughs> Then you can't. You have dentures. How do you? Bro, it's still stuck in the back of my like tooth. Me, but yeah, like. And I'm trying to think of like the thickest U.S. candy that you could compare it to, but like there's nothing that thick. Those bitter honeys be thick. I don't think I can eat those. They have nothing else. Yeah, they do. Okay, so y'all want no? That was okay. Um, those are chips too. So let's try this gum. So see if I could get this. Just candy off the side of my mouth with it. This is Thrills gum. Now, I'm nervous because it literally says on the package, still tastes like soap. <laughs> like, what is that supposed to mean? Why would you make soap flavored gum? Maybe it's like an insider type thing of Canadian. But that's not even good marketing. You're Maybe soap, food that soap to like us soap? is one thing and soap to them is another thing. Yeah, no. Absolutely not. This is nasty. Um, right. right. It does taste like soap. It don't taste like soap to me, Girl. but it's nasty. Soap. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's nasty. It's like, not good. You know the smell of um what's that blue fabric softener downy downy tastes like downy. why would they do this <laughs> tastes like downy i'm gonna give that a it it's kind of got a gummy taste to it too but it's not 
it tastes gummy, but it also tastes like something else. Not necessarily. I don't know. I've never like licorice. No, nah. like it has a dash of licorice. Maybe. It. I've never tasted so so <laughs> so. It's like, the smell. Really, it don't. It doesn't taste like anything that I think I've smelled. But it's not good. Like a dash of licorice, a dash of cinnamon. It tastes like, like it got lavender. a little bit of yeah. It tastes like it got a little bit of gum seasoning in it, like some sort of cinnamon or something. But then the overall main flavor is just nasty. Uh-uh. They're going to get a one for disrespecting my taste buds. Tell me gusta. Okay, so I think those were going to be the most nastiest things. The rest of this should be okay. Um, let's try these. Maynards, Menards, Fuzzy Peach. I'm excited. I like peach. Let's see. I wonder if it's like the peach rings. I love those. Oh, it might be. Maybe my granny love those. It don't look like them. It looks it's interesting. Does. It's like got two different colors. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh well. A uh, hit. Oh. Okay. These buttons. Mm-hmm. They're not hard. I would say they're not as peachy as our peach rings. Like I don't the think I, I don't remember the last time I've had peach rings to oh, compare it. Like me last week. I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like the peach flavor is there in the beginning, but as you start chewing it, it kind of goes away. Yeah. And then you're just kind of left whatever that is on the outside, the sugar, you're just kind of left with that. But I, I like the I like consistency that. of it too because I, like I don't like a lot of gummy stuff because if like if I'm chewing on it for like two or three minutes, I'm like, bro, that wasn't like thick or anything. It was very easy to chew. Um, so next, oh, this is the same candy company. They got Juicy Squirts Berry. <laughs> I think this is going to be similar to Gushers just based on like yeah the packaging. Oh, I give those a... I would give those a four out of five. Same. Four. They were good. I just, I'm not necessarily a fan of like super gummy stuff. So I probably, you could probably have those if you want them. I will eat them. Okay, I'm gonna take a red one. I tried to squeeze it up because they're all kind of stuck. It's red as well. This is strawberry. Oh, mm-hmm. I ain't getting no gush. It wasn't an extreme gush, but it was a little something in the middle. I didn't get that. You didn't taste something in the middle? Mm -mm. It wasn't like gushers, but it was like something. I think this is cherry. This is gone. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. That's good. Especially because I would categorize those as like fruit snacks. I was going to say that those black forest fruit snacks. But I think these are better because they're a little bit like they're softer to me. Yes. They're and, not as chewy. And I would also say it's not as sweet. Yeah. As it's not fruit. an overload of sugar. Right. I like I them. like those. Five out of five. Correct. Definitely. For sure. Okay. So this. You can go ahead. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I trust you. This is a maple flavored sucker, 100% pure maple syrup with 100% pure maple syrup. Okay, Lord, I'm trusting you. We should have had some scissors to cut next time. I got a knife on my key ring. That's okay. Not this I just got to break through this foil somehow. Okay. It smells syrupy. It don't taste like nothing. The ingredients, pure maple syrup, mm -hmm. glucose, sugar. Not recommended for children under four. I don't like it. You don't like it. Mm -mm. They don't taste like syrup. It sugar. tastes like Okay, because my thing is, so when I eat breakfast, I use 100% maple syrup. And you know how, like, 
Aunt Jemima's ain't real maple syrup. It's yeah, a lot of syrup. Syrup flavored, maple flavored, whatever. Yeah. That's kind of what it. First of all, I don't know what flavor this is. It's not maple syrup, but it kind of is giving me an artificial, some like a syrup flavored something. Pure like maple syrup is very expensive. I get it out of Trader Joe's though. Oh, okay. Something about, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the, the maple flavored syrup, but like, I I'm trying you. to be conscious of what I get you. I put in my body. Like, and I started drinking 100% juice. I tried to stop. I try to stop drinking any like artificial juice, especially the juice that's like 0% real juice. I'm like, we gonna leave that on the shelf at the stove. So no Hawaiian punch for you? Nope. Or that Minimade? Minimade. The Minimade I think is like 10% real juice. Minimade is good. That berry punch. I keep trying to eat this to see if I like it. Great. Mm -mm. No, yeah, I don't like, like it. it. I'm gonna give that a one. It's not tickling your fancy. It's not. Mm -mm. This is a passion flaky palm. Palm. What's frambois? Am I even saying that right? We're probably not. What's a frambois? Apple raspberry. Anybody ever heard of frambois? <laughs> We're probably saying it somebody's wrong. ears are probably bleeding. Like, girl. <laughs> These uncultured Americans. Bro, they're like, what? <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is like a... It's kind of... It smells really good. I don't smell nothing. Oh, I something. smell something. It looks like a hostess... Not a hostess pastry, but like a toaster strudel that's already yeah. been puffed up. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Ooh, it feels like one, too. I'm going to take this big old piece, and if I don't like it, I'm going to cry. It's flaky. I don't know if y'all can see the flakes. Mm-hmm. I like it, kinda. Kind of, okay, it has a cr the cream of like a Twinkie. I think I don't like the cream part. Okay. But I like the outside. The outside is really good. And the fruity part is decent too. I, mean, I don't taste the apple, I taste raspberry. I don't taste nothing, it tastes like strawberry to me. <laughs> That's what you said about the cherry fruit snack or cherry candy, whatever that was. It tastes like strawberry. It don't taste like a mix of fruit. I don't think I care for the stuff on the inside, but I would give it a four out of five. Two. Really? Yeah, I think that's how you know you're getting old when you don't like sweet things. Wow. I mean, I think it's good though. I like that the outside is like literally a hit. And the fact that they were able to like, because I feel like you can only find this little flakiness in like toaster shooters and stuff. I do agree. The outside was really good. It's the inside that's not it's doing it for me. Outside. That's like subpar. The fruity stuff is good. It's just this white stuff. It's almost like frosting. It's like cake. It's like the frosting of um, the Twinkie. It's yeah. like if you had, I would say if you had a Twinkie and injected some flavor, but then the outside is It's almost like, like a, a cake toast. to go. There you go. There like, you go. but it's better than like them little Debbie's Hostess cakes or whatever, if you ask me. That's just my personal opinion. Um, Okay, so do you want to pick the chips that we try next? Okay. Since this is right here. Okay. Gonna, I'm excited about those. Humpty Dumpty Ringolos. They're barbecue flavored. They look like, they honestly look like, um, like onion ring chips. Funyuns. I hate Funyuns. <laughs> now that you said it. The flaming Hot Funyuns are so good. I though. hate Funyuns. The flaming Hot Funyuns are good. If these taste like flames, I'm gonna be mad. You want, you need help? Oh, it's like greasy. It's clearly, I can't open it. Okay, so they're small. Like really small. Fritos. Oh, that's what they remind me of. It smells like a barbecue chip. I don't like them. It, the barbecue flavor is lacking. 
it's like a hint of barbecue. Okay. You know, hot fries, right? That's what it tastes like. Not the hot part, not the flavor. The texture of it? Not even the texture, just the, like when you keep chewing hot fries, that's what it reminds okay. me of. I don't eat hot fries enough to know. Or I don't like the texture of them. Okay. <laughs> but Or some type of cracker. Like those crackers when we were kids, they weren't che by cheeses, they were by another company and they had like characters. I don't know. I kind of I kind of like it. I would give this a 3. Same. Like I could eat them, but it wouldn't be my go-to. They're the barbecue flavor. They just taste salty to me. And it's like there's a hint of barbecue flavor, but they didn't like get it all the way. I feel like barbecue flavored chips are hard to do. I love barbecue flavored Pringles. Like at one point in my life, I was dating this dude and I told him, I'm like, if you could propose to me with a can of barbecue Pringles and some Slim Jims and like, I would completely say yes. Like, I don't even need a ring. Like that's how obsessed I was with barbecue Pringles. We're glad you're over that stage of your life. Bro, cause now I need a ring. <laughs> like. And let it be a quality one, not a twenty dollar ring. I need a condo on my finger. Do you okay, hear me? Okay, condo. We see it. We gonna see Much it. Like, and if you like little rings, like good for you, but not me. Okay. I'm literally eating these because I'm hungry. Okay. Ruffles. I want to try these. Oh, okay. Because they're ketchup flavor, and I feel like they're gonna be nasty. The way me and acid reflux are, I don't eat ketchup really. Oh, does I just want to get them out the ketchup way. Ketchup flavor. And these are by the same company. Oh. I noticed on the back. These are by Old Dutch too. I don't know. I'll eat ketchup. I but just I want to get them out the way because I feel like they're going to be nasty. But I won't eat ketchup. I eat ranch on my fries. I don't even get ketchup. Okay. If I have a burger. Abs, bro. Smell them. <laughs> Yo. Yo. It's pure ketchup. I don't think I, I don't like, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, bro, it tastes like ketchup for real. This ain't it. Uh-uh. Now next, these are by the same company. This, they missed the barbecue. They definitely got the ketchup flavor on these. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. No me gusta delete why are you still eating it uh -uh. i'm trying to really get my sauce together oh, no because part of me feels like and then the aftertaste i'm not it's got a tang to it at the end but i'm trying that. to think because i feel like if you put some hot sauce over them they might be good Dang it. exactly that's what it is okay By themselves, i feel like I don't if like you them. did put some hot sauce it would be like those what's It'll those be a chip hit. chips Can't even think of the name. By themselves. I honestly would give them a two or a three. Like I would maybe eat them again if it was the only option. But I wouldn't wake up out of my sleep like, oh, I need some ketchup chips. And I say maybe like a three because I think they would be better with hot sauce. Um, Some to kind of overpower. One to two. I don't know. Ruffles, all dressed. I'm nervous about those. Yeah, I don't know what all dressed. It's a big buzz bag. No, it's not like Bayou Bayou, ah! but it's over there. <laughs> okay, let me get all this ketchup stuff off my fingers. Canada's very own. It doesn't have like one. Hold on. Let me. It doesn't have palette. one strict flavor. It's like a combination of mm -mm. several flavors. You don't like it? Let me rinse my palate, but I don't think I do. I think 
it tastes like them cheddar ones and they miss the part the, but mm -mm. they miss part of the flavoring i don't think it tastes like cheddar them cheddar ruffles yeah no it has like a it tastes vinegar like they it. vinegar they're decent to me they taste like the cheddar ones and they forgot to put all the cheddar seasoning on it well they are ruffles I just it like this taste to me isn't diff isn't that different. It just tastes like it's missing. It tastes like something that they already have and they just missed missed it. It doesn't taste like a completely different chip to me. Okay, I think I got it. So there's vinegar with like a dash, the faintest dash of like barbecue towards the end. I would give them a three, Same. because I would eat them again. But they, to me, they don't taste like anything. Okay, so we are on to our last item, which are these Doritos. They're zesty cheese. What's this say? I think that's in French. Okay, I was just making sure <laughs> I wasn't illiterate, y'all, because I didn't want to try and say it. Cause like fromage. More than okay, and I'm probably saying that wrong. I just wanted to make sure because, <laughs> because if it was something in English and I was gonna completely butcher it, and you was gonna look at me like, girl, you can't read. <laughs> I wouldn't judge you, bro, I would not judge you, bro. I get like reading anxiety sometimes when I have to like read out loud, like those times in elementary school, yeah, like when they would make you the popcorn read or like, <laughs> oh, they used to. I, I can't really read bad that anxiety doing exactly because I'm like I don't it's not diagnosed but I think I'm dyslexic and I would really? mix up my B's and D's and six and nine. Oh, it was bad. I just used bad. to get I used to read a lot when I was younger and like for a punishment my mom would take my books and she would take them for like months at a time oh. bro so then like I finally got to a phase where I just like stopped reading and like obviously I'm an adult now so I kind of picked it back up but I don't know something about reading out loud. I just I think we're all I get really bad anxiety about it, especially and don't let it be a popcorn read where like y'all are going up and down the road because I'm gonna read my part a hundred times before I get to it to make sure <laughs> to make sure I got it down pat. Mm -hmm. But then when they would like randomly pick you and I didn't have time to prepare, I'd be like, uh, door door Doritos, z zesty cheese, like yeah. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't in English because like I said, if I, I'm looking at it like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, oh, these look nice and cheesy like Doritos are supposed to. Okay, I'm trying to, there we go. Ooh, look at the color. Look at all that artificial flavoring. Like makeup artists. I don't like them. Why it tastes like that? <laughs> I'm gonna eat them because I'm hungry. Wait. I ate all day. Hold on. They taste like okay. cheesy flavored Doritos. It went to nothing to like a taco Dorito to just like a tortilla chip. It tastes like some sort of cheese flavored snack, but in Dorito form. I don't taste the cheese. It looks like something. It tastes like a cheese cracker, some type, some type of like cheese cracker snap. Not exactly cheeses, but something along the line. Maybe like some off-brand cheeses. I'ma eat them because I'm hungry, but I don't like them. I think out of all the chips, I would actually probably eat these. And I really didn't like those because they just didn't taste like anything. These kind of don't taste like anything either though. Okay, yeah, I don't know where I got that taco flavor from because the last two didn't taste like that. But I was trying to see like the ingredients, but cheddar cheese is like the original the ones are better on here. Yeah, honestly, 
you know the original Doritos when they don't have a lot of seasoning on them? It kind of tastes like that. Ooh, Woo! this whole video has been a struggle. The last video, I literally just filmed a video out here like oh. on Tuesday or Monday, oh. probably Monday, and it was not this bad with the bugs. The way I got up. I just feel like they look like they have a lot of flavoring on them. And it really, they don't taste like nothing. No. I'm gonna eat them. Cause like I said, I'm, it's probably like two o'clock, I ain't ate all day today. But, I would give these. They're a one to me. I would give them a two or three. I would, like if they were an option, a chip option at a party, I would probably grab them and maybe like dip them in some salsa or some guacamole or something. Like they're okay. eatable. They're edible. Eatable. Wow. They're edible. They, they're not nasty. They just don't. There's no. It tastes like anything. You're just better off getting your calories to me from a regular tortilla chip. If you're going to eat some Doritos, you might as well get the original one. Correct. Because these literally don't taste like. I agree. Like you said, they're good for dipping. Or if you want to do some nachos, now they're to good me, for and that. they don't even taste like corn chips to me. Because you know how when regular Doritos tortilla don't have chips. an. Oh, they're tortilla chips? Yeah, that's what Doritos are. Doritos I thought Doritos are. were corn chips. No, they're tortilla chips. How come they smell like feet when you open a bag? <laughs> these flavored <laughs> tortilla <laughs> chips. Bro, I thought my whole life I thought Doritos corn were corn chips. chips. No, corn chips are Fritos. Yeah, but Doritos and Fritos smell the same when you Well, open they're made bag. out of corn. So what's the difference? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if a tor not all tortillas are made out of corn though. You know you could get flour tortillas. But okay. these specific tortillas, because it says corn, corn is their first ingredient, so clearly a corn chip a corn based chip it's not a corn chip because it's a tortilla chip but what's the difference between corn chips and corn tortilla chips <laughs> the tortilla part so we're gonna have to google this so tor corn chips you you know you make your batter out of corn then you shape them she went you to school for them. nutrition y'all i don't know i'm making this up <laughs> i was gonna say because she sound like she know exactly what she's talking about you shape them then you fry them and then you put your seasonings on so however you make your tortilla corn or flour you make your tortilla that way fry the tortilla deep fry the tortilla flavor it and there you go um and that's what i'm assuming somebody let me know if i'm well, I thought they was corn chips. No. Like, it's I thought they were the same chips. as Fritos, but just better. No. Ooh, it's a bug. It's corn based, but it's definitely not. Yeah. Yeah, I would give these a two out of three, like, a, a two or three, like I said, because I don't mind them, but they just. They're not. They don't taste like nothing. Yeah. But at least they're not nasty. Overall, oh, what? These chips feature a blend of Parmesan and cheddar cheese with a delicious tangy kick. They I don't get that. Like, but I don't know. To me, Parmesan don't necessarily taste like anything. That's true. It just has a smell. Bye. And it's weird because I put Parmesan on like certain foods, mm -hmm. but it just doesn't necessarily add <laughs> anything. I agree. I definitely agree. Yeah, these were okay. Overall, this box is really interesting. <gasps> the gum was rose water. That's what it tastes like. Okay. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like. like something that wasn't good. I can tell you that much. Wouldn't recommend. These. At this point, I'm just picking up stuff and eating it because I'm hungry, not because it was good and I lied to y'all. Well. Overall, this I found box some interesting is, it, stuff. Yeah, this is interesting. I would do it again. These are interesting. Them Doritos is interesting. That was nasty. 
I think overall this box was a uh, two and a half, three. I would give it a three. I'm just, for me, because I feel like a lot of this was similar to American stuff already. So I think it was like a nice first box. Cause like we didn't completely get dumped into the deep end. Like most of these brands are actually, Doritos is American. Are you sure it's American and not? Well, I mean like we have, we have Doritos I'm just messing um, Nestle is something that, you know, like that's it's a, here. a yeah. big person, person, manufacturer, candy manufacturer, whatever. It's a big candy company in America. Um, so is Hershey's. So like, some of this stuff kind of was similar to American food, but then it had like a different flavor, a different kick to it or. Right. I think for a first box, it was decent. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we didn't completely get like thrown into something where it's like, what's this? Well, I would have liked that though. Really? That's, I like trying new things. I just, my thing is like maybe, cause I feel like if we would have got dumped into the deep end and we're trying a whole bunch of different flavor profiles and stuff That's that true. like, that's true. And especially yeah. if we didn't like it, right. then it'd be like, bro, like, I don't want another box. I'm not ever doing this again. This is That's terrible. True. I Whereas get it. Whereas, like, this was kind of like similar, Dip like familiar, but different. Dip your toe in the water. Yeah, I would definitely recommend the box or whatever. It's a good experience. I'm going to probably buy like two or because it's a subscription. So I'm probably going to let it run for like two or three months to get some more boxes. And then I'm probably going to cancel it only because, like, I'm very picky with my food. I don't know why all of a sudden I want to try new stuff, but like I'm very picky with my food. I don't like really trying a lot of new restaurants. I don't like trying a lot of new places. I don't like trying to like... Well, this is good for you then. Which is why I'm, I'm going to get a couple more and then I'm going to cancel the subscription because I don't think every month I need to keep trying new stuff. And it's $25 a box. Exactly. Y'all know how much money I'll be done gave them the whole year? That's $100 for four months. So that's three hundred dollars a year. That's crazy. I mean, but it's nice. Yeah, it is. I definitely would recommend if you like trying new things or want to try new things. I definitely would, would recommend it. Suggest going to get a snack crate. If they want to sponsor me, then we can keep it going. <laughs> but I'm only gonna pay for about two or three of these, and then we gonna call it good. I think overall it was a good experience. Definitely. I did. I feel like them fruit snacks were a hit. You could keep them peach rings. They were good too. There was definitely some stuff in here that was like, ooh, like, I'm gonna try and see if I can find these on Amazon. Like, these are my new fruit snacks. These Careful. Doritos were okay. But sometimes. Oh, and these, these M&Ms, these Smarties that they call them, a hit. I'm gonna eat those. Some of this stuff was disrespectful though. That gum, disrespectful. Whoa, it's water. That's exactly what it was. That toffee, disrespectful. Them chocolate covered raisins, disrespectful. That ketchup. Them ketchup chips, kind of disrespectful. I think that would really be good though if you dip them. Then like guacamole or some salsa or put some hot sauce on them. I agree. But overall, like I said, I would recommend it. The box. Ooh. I think it's on. Um. Do you have anything you want to say to the people? Um, nothing more than I already said. Um, definitely try it. Don't be scared to try it. Try what was your favorite things. thing? Oh, okay. Sweet, obviously. These peach, mm -hmm. these um, Maynards. Menards. <laughs> Maynards, Menards. Menards. <laughs> Say big money. Say big money. Um, fuzzy peach. And my favorite chip was definitely I the was all those. dressed ruffles. I have to go Google these. Obviously, these fruit snacks and these Smarties. And I guess out of these chips, probably the Doritos. Just because, I mean, between the ruffles and the Doritos, they both were kind of missing some sort of flavor to it. I don't know. But I just like, I normally eat Doritos more than I eat Ruffles anyway. So that's probably why I'm leaning towards the Doritos because they were equally under flavor to me. Um, but do you have anything else you want to say to people? Nope. Okay, well that is the end of my video. I'm going to eventually lick this food off of my Girl. finger. <laughs> um, <laughs> but 
that is all I have for you guys. So thank you for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. If you watched the whole video and you didn't subscribe, like, stop being a hater and just hit the subscribe button. It's really not that hard. Um, make sure that you guys click that link in the description so that you can hear my music. I will try to also link these little snacks in the description as well in case you didn't see the packaging or whatever and you were interested in anything. Um, also, follow me on social media, Ash, I'm the baddest. You want to give the people your socials? Um, I'm really... <laughs> I have other socials, but I'm mainly active on Twitter. Um, I'll just spell it out. It's at L E B R O W N S U G R. Lay Brown Sugar. Period. <laughs> brown Sugar. And look, you know, she's looking like a model. You know, yes. Y'all see, see, see? Look. It. Yes. Yes. This works. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.